Okay, so I'll tell you my story, which yes, is please. Maybe we want to know. Your your stuff, it sounds very like what I would expect to see on like TV, right? They take you into the doctor's office. Yes. Right. I love the high drama. Yeah. Um, I am a drama queen. I'm a Lee after well, all. Leo yours, girl. Is, yours is like network drama. Like we're yes. syndicating this. Mine is like, I think like lifetime TV movie or very sad, like independent film. Um, so I got, I did my stuff, did the biopsy. Oh my gosh. You guys will talk about that, but did my That's biopsy. Another episode. Yes. Another episode. Your biopsy. Um, but I, it, it was a Friday. I know like we all, I mean, I'm sure anybody who's been diagnosed with anything, you remember the day, the time, the place you were, it's a m massive event in life. So I'm in my room, I'm getting ready. Um, it's in the evening and I'm thinking, oh, you know, I haven't heard from any of my doctors yet. This is the last, the last day that anyone, they said, you'll know by today. And I was like, this is great. The longer they wait, the more likely it is to be good news. Yes. Joke is on me. Um, <laughs> uh, I get a call. Um, I guess it was, yeah, afternoonish. I get a call from a, a scheduler, appointment scheduler. She goes, hi, um, I'm speaking with Jasmine. Okay, yeah, um, I'm from the oncologist's office. I'd like to schedule you for blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, sure. Blah, blah. And then I go, what's an oncologist? <gasps> oh, no. And she goes, um has the doctor not called you? Oh, and I went, God. no. And I was like, is an oncologist bad? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> like, the fact that the doctor didn't call you. They didn't what? call me for over an hour and a half. Um, I ended up calling my doctor, left a message. Like I made the appointment because I was like, okay. Because I said, can you tell me? She goes, I'm not legally allowed to. I'm so sorry. No, you have to wait for their call. Should we schedule you an appointment? I said, clearly we should. So thank you very much for calling. Let's do this. And then I called and called and I'm just sitting there in paralysis going in the absolute sitting in my sympathetic nervous system going, what does this mean? I don't understand. I'm not, I'm not big on doctors. Like give me a dentist any day of the week, any other kind of doctor. I'm not really familiar. Like aside from your general checkups, because I'm, I'm vegan. I'm a yoga teacher. Like I, I go out and sit in nature. I'm the person you see without shoes on. Um, so me and doctors love them, respect it. I, I think there's absolutely a place in the world for them, but I'm not as familiar with that structure, the Western structure of um, medical care. Um, anyway, they call me, oh my, like ugh, an hour and a half, maybe two hours later, um, and I, and then give me the official diagnosis. And I, I was like, okay, kind of like you holding it together and just like, I'm going to listen. I'm going to receive all of the information. And then as soon as it hung up, it was just tears. It was just absolute, like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. So <laughs> that's my lifetime drama movie. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Yes, you can make me cry. We're gonna cry a lot on these podcasts. Um, so those are that's again like two sides of the same coin. The very traditional medical version that you had, Grace, and my absolutely bananas. Like I don't, I don't know. I mean, like it's not, it's not the scheduler's fault. It's not the doctor's. Everyone, they, it just happened in, I think, it, the wrong order. But yes, yes absolutely. But, they still took care of what they needed to take care of. Exactly. And I ultimately got the care that I needed. Um, but man, that was what a traumatic day. Oof. Oh my goodness. It is beyond traumatic because it's yeah. like your life is flashing yeah. right in front of you. Like I was like, okay, I've always done what I wanted to do. I've always achieved mm -hmm. what I wanted to achieve. I've always followed my heart yeah. and I'm happy I did that. If I die, if I am alive, right? We can't say mm -hmm. that word. If I am alive, mm -hmm. then I will be a little disappointed, but I can say I lived a full life. And so it's okay if I pass on to the other dimension. I'm okay with it. Yeah. However, I do have a lot to do. And I think that this cancer healing journey, starting on diagnosis day, it gave me a sense of purpose. Like I almost promised myself, if I make it, 
when I make it, because it was my cancer healing journey, when I make it, I am going to love and help others in a way that I haven't done before. Like before mm -hmm. I knew I had to love and help others, but now it's on top of everything. Everything I do is about loving and helping others. It's not about, oh, they're doing this, I'm doing that. They didn't do this for me. Or, you know, I paid for this, they paid for that. Or this, oh, they're mean to me. Or that's like, it's nothing to do with that. It's almost like all of that is like beep, 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 noise. Yeah. You know, it's all about, okay, this person might have a bad day. I'm going to put myself in their shoes. Yeah. Now, if they're abusive or whatever, bye, bitch. But, you know, you just become, um, it kind of gives you a whole different perspective yeah. on living your life in a way that you put your purpose first, but mm -hmm. it all starts in diagnosis day. Yeah. That's crucial. Like what are you going to, how you react, I think, to diagnosis day is going to determine your journey. Uh, That's how I feel. I, I think uh, uh, I'll yes and that because I think people, of course, they grow through it. Um, if you have an absolutely adverse reaction where you're like, oh my gosh, worst yes. case scenario, I do think people can come back from that and say, 100%. you know what? Oh gosh, that was just, that was me sitting in the negative. I've now yes. experienced that I don't have to see the world that way and they can continue on. So it just, I think it gives them the foundation. Um, yes. And I hope that everyone who's diagnosed starts from a positive foundation, but I can't even say that I did. I, I yeah, came really, from a shocked, right, right. a shocked and numb foundation where yeah. I, I ended up, Oh, Grace, I'll ask you this. I'll, I'll share it. And then I'll ask you, but um, I ended up calling a handful of friends and family yeah. just so yeah. that I could have someone to process with. Yeah. No one picked up. <gasps> and oh, I was no. crying. Everyone called back. So yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was like that moment where it was like, oh, I'm, I have to sit with this myself. And yeah, I think that, was kind of like that the universe going like, they're going to be there for you, but you have to be there for yourself first. Yes. And, yes. It was, it, and looking back on it, I can see that as what it was um, as a practice to self-love and um, just self-care and go, yes. it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be scared. I'm you, angry. And, and angry and just confused and and everything grace who did did you call a bunch of people or did you just kind of i was dating someone who uh dumped me later because my boobs were not going to be uh symmetrical oh no what garbage. Oh my gosh, we're garbage women. i'm sorry oh I hear the word trash basura in your language how many languages can we say it in okay basura i know yeah, exactly. Exactly. Garbage. garbage. <laughs> I don't know. I made that up. Right in. Tell us what garbage is in many languages, any of the languages you speak, and we will just attribute that to people who leave people going through cancer because their boobs aren't going to be the same. Oh, can you imagine? Oh my gosh. Wow. You didn't feel romantic after my surgery. You're like, I'm sorry. <laughs> my lady is so nice and perky. What's what? Yeah. Look at the best of both worlds. Anyway. Listen. Yeah. Good riddance. Good. Oh, you know, that's another thing, the beauty of cancer. It's, yeah. It kind of filters the people in your life. And oh. the ones that stay with you, holy shit, you better stick to them. Like the ones who take care of you, they yeah. bring you uh, food. You know, they they just uh, make sure you're okay. Oh, they do your laundry. I had my I, friend do my laundry. Oh, I had a friend who drew, she drove up from Costa Mesa. I'm, I'm in Los Angeles. So that's like a two hour drive. She brought me, she made soup, like multiple soups Aww. that we put in the freezer that I could have after each of my chemo treatments. She brought like um, beautiful plants for me, filled my fridge, all of this. And like, it was amazing. It was such like, what a blessing. What Love. a blessing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those are the people. Not that, and again, you may not have the resources she had for yes. the people in your life, yeah, but even yeah. just showing up, showing up with a text, yes. showing up with a call, um, a hug, a hug, a hug. Uh, yeah. Those people are not mul in German, yeah. which is trash. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I love. It. Thank mule. you for that, Emily. Oh, the mole. That's his middle name. Yeah. That's but I, I forgot what my point was. <laughs> Hang on to the good ones because it filters. Yes. Cancer 
filters out the garbage. It yes. really does. It really does. And that it filters out the garbage in us too. We don't put up yes. things like self negative self-talk. No, yes. I'm pretty freaking amazing. I can do anything and anything yes. that I'm not good at. If I want to get better, I'll go get better. If I don't, okay, I don't care. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. And going back now, I remember yeah. going back to, you asked me about who did you call? So I called him. I called my uh, adopted brother, Clint. Mm -hmm. I also texted my friend, David, who's also like a brother. I have a lot of brothers, apparently. <laughs> and uh, I was like, don't tell, I told him, don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. And uh, Clint was like, you might want to tell Heather because she wants, I know she will want to help. And so I told Heather and Heather has been my angel all throughout the street, man. She took me to all the appointments. We laughed mm -hmm. our asses off in the middle of like, I'm going to surgery.